<laughs> wow, that's nice. I think Pythagoras had the theory about the Earth that radiates a certain energy, a certain frequency, and all music channels that energy, Earth energy. You want to add something? Yeah, okay. The noise to that. At the end of the day, like a, a, the document of an album is something for you to have when Battles is not in your town. But at the same time, it's like when you get to see a, a band perform live and they're feeding off the energy of, of like the audience and there's this, something that exists there that's not something you could always get on an album. That's, that's what makes seeing a band special, you know? I think about a lot like this. I, th I think it was things have been going just for music in general that the records, the real thing, and the show is because nobody knows who the Beatles are. We only know what their records were, right? So in a way, the record is like the truth. But uh, and I think that to a degree, I guess that's still the case. But at the same time, it seems like shows are now more important for people, like in general, not just us, but. You know, records, music's traded as an MP3 on the internet, so now it's, it's cheaper. Yeah. And and so a show is something people will still pay twenty dollars to go see. My thing is, I, I don't necessarily like records that sound like a live show. Anyway, I I think it's I think it's cool to have them separate and to be looked at as separate entities. You know, I, to like try to capture the live performance on a CD is kind of. It's, it's, it's unnecessary and it's impossible. In and vice way. versa. Yeah, and vice versa. So we're never going to see the Battles Christmas live recordings. I would never say never. That's one thing I've learned. We love Christmas. <laughs> there's, I don't think there's much improvisation going on live with us. I think a lot of people think there is, but everything is pretty much pretty structured. So for the most part. Oh my god, it's a ghost. It's a ghost! <laughs> Look, it's a ghost! <laughs> Wasn't really a ghost. So what else? Yeah, I mean we're still we're still like fleshing things out. I'm, I definitely like to sing, so I think it's more than. I think it's. Can you, can you get that? You know, jazz is a canon, and like the guardians of jazz want nothing to do with us. I mean, we, we're not jazz at all. We have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Thank you.
guys wearing the same socks for three days, and we're all crammed into a van, and Ian spills his yerba tea, like, on the carpet of the van, and Ty's, like, getting down from the bunk and, like, steps into the tea, and then they start fighting, and then John gets stressed out because they're fighting, and I just, I'm crying. That's it like... sounds like you don't do anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I cry. <laughs> I'm a huge crier. <laughs> I consider these three guys my best friends. Yeah. I'm serious. I mean that. Yeah. He's only he's only <laughs> saying that because he's, because there's cameras in front of us. That's all. Only <laughs> <he's> like, <laughs> yeah. He's only saying that because we're the only human beings he's gonna have contact with for a month. So. <laughs> Enough. So as you've just noticed, this is uh, we've just kicked John from our outfit, <laughs> and uh, see ya. Oh, girls. Sometimes after a tour we take like maybe a week off just to just to chill and have some downtime but you know, it, it's it's busy, you know, like you, you gotta keep up with you know, you gotta keep rolling. Or you don't wanna drop the ball, so actually in on tour in the United States when we stop at truck stops, sometimes we'll play catch. <laughs> yeah, we really do actually. <laughs> 